1724. Nice dark green. I guess there's a reason why I like that color. <laughs> so we're here at the uh, pilot and here in Ocala. Got ourselves fueled and def all deft up. Now we're going to go get a, get a, use the old facilities and grab a bite to eat. Okay. Baconator and some uh, nuggets. Not a brilliant place to park. We got 70 miles down to Davenport. number on me, got the buyer number, I got the lot number, you know, pick up from uh, Richie's. So, according to the uh, load of information I got, they're saying that the, the vehicle is 10 foot, 6 inches high, which will mean it won't have to be permitted. Because my the deck height is basically 44 inches, so eight inches above what is uh what would be legal. If the deck set at 36 inches even, I would just be able to do it. I think because of the way things are. We might be getting our first permitted load.
in back on I-75 southbound. away from our destination straight down US 27 here. We are at East Grand Highway, Claremont, Lake Florida on US 27 so a little bit of a wash. Not a great one, but a little one. Little water on there. Make it, make it uh, at least look just a slightly less dusty.
like that, it's pretty much over. bands here maybe to you know do the big stuff so So here at the Ritchie Brothers in Davenport, Florida, row after row a row of stuff, and not a whole lot of clear instructions of what can and cannot be done. I mean, you know, I told them this is my first time doing this, first time at Ritchie Brothers, first time you know driving something like this. Now nah, just go get it, bring it up here. It's like, Okay, you know, like, you know, a little bit of assistance for the, the new person so they don't do, so nothing happens, you know, everybody's safe, you know, that, that, that just seems the way to, for me to, uh, to properly do something, but, you know, that's, that's just me, you know, at least give the new person a little bit of a guidance to say, hey, this is the process, this is the way to make it easy for you to do your job and get in and out you know I mean I've never driven a, a scraper so 
this is going to be an adventure for everybody. I mean, Keith should be in it. I mean, we will see what we can see, you know. It's going to go slow, take our time, look at what we're doing. You know, a person who works here who moves these things on a regular basis would be uh, a little bit of a help here to make sure that the machine is not being damaged and you know everybody is safe and but you know that's you know that's that's my way of thinking you know And if you have an RGN, just come in, pull up next to it, and there you go. That might be it up there. Not, well, we'll see. Lot number one, two, four. One, two, nine, one, twenty. Oh well, you know, I said it can only do what I can do and I have no problem admitting when I don't know something. And this thing's got no glass in it. Is this it? Yeah, well, it's a one six three one six one three C. No glass in it. <laughs> hey, I can't tell if this is it or not. Lot number 124. Let's find a, let's see if we can't find a serial number. Let's see if this thing even runs. Series 2, yes. Eight L J zero zero nine seven seven. Okay, I guess this is it. I mean, keys in it. Let's see if we can't find a gas can or whatnot, a gas tank. You know, There's a bunch of cords holding that on. The batteries. I mean, I guess I got to lift it up. So I guess see if the hydraulics are working. I guess I'll put it down when I when I get there. Oh, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> look at this. I mean, really? Really, this is the state that they're that I'm going to be picking this. Oh man, this is going to be this is going to be rich. Well, I can't say that it's a it's a good looking ride. <laughs> oh my God, this. Next, so we're just gonna leave it at second. Okay. Oh, goody, goody, gun girl. This is gonna be an experience, I'll tell you that. All right, this is what I'm left with for the day. I was not able to get that thing loaded and I was pretty much told that I had to leave because it was already after 5 o'clock or just about 5 o'clock 
So I was told, you have to go. There was no place for me to park outside, right out on the, you know, right out in the out, right in the front. There are big open lots. No, the lot, there was lots there, you know, but they were all fenced off, warped off. There was no place for me to actually be able to park. Hey, 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 hey. Idiot. Right. Somebody going the wrong direction in the uh, in here. Gonna get somebody hurt. All right. So you know there was no place for me to park. Right outside, I got big chunks of dirt on the back of it. You know, caked in mud and stone and grass growing in it. I can't put that on the road. That that's that's illegal for me to put on the road. I ain't getting a fine. The nearest place for me to buy a shovel or anything, to even do anything like that, you know, a pickaxe or a mattock or whatnot, you know, half an hour away without traffic, a good hour with the traffic that's, that's in the area. So it's at least two and a half hours, almost three, to go and come back where I have no parking, I have no place to clean it off, even if I had the tools to clean it off, Well, you know, it, it's just going to have to wait. There's nothing I can do, you know. I'm left in a situation that there's no way to win on it. So we got the heavy rains. And probably I'll be sitting around until Tuesday or Wednesday. In the morning, I'll get up. I'll go try to get to that Loves right, right near the street. First get to Home Depot, then get to a, get to the Loves there. Or even better, get up to Haynes and, and get to the park, get to a uh, Pilot Flying J. Ugh. Not a good day today. Not a good day.